There's been a lot of talk lately about a Trump dictatorship. I gotta say, Trump makes sense as a dictator, and the word dictator makes sense for Trump. I always thought that word was too goofy and silly sounding for what it meant, but with Trump, it totally works. You know, I mean, the man is both a dick and a tater. Can't deny that. There's a lot of people talking about it. Liz Cheney says if he wins the next election, that'll be the last election we ever have. Hannity asked Trump himself if he would be a dictator, and Trump hemmed and hawed for five minutes before finally saying, only on day one. So it seems like a distinct possibility, yet a huge chunk of our fellow Americans seem unconvinced and unconcerned by this, right? Now, of course, granted, a full third of Americans are actively salivating at this prospect. At least I think they're salivating. It's hard to tell. They tend to drool a lot as a people. And then another third of us are very, very terrified by this notion, but it's that final third that I don't get. That third in the middle who seems to think that like that type of thing just can't happen in this country or, or that Trump and Biden are equally bad and, and inconsequential options. I, I don't get it. They're like, oh, no, this is the land of the free. All right, we, we sing it at every football game. That's got to count for something. That type of thing can't happen here. And I think a lot of them think like, well, we already have one Trump presidency and it didn't end in a dictatorship. So I think you're overstating things like, oh, yeah, the, you mean the Trump presidency, which ended with a failed attempt to overthrow democracy at the 11th hour? You mean that Trump presidency? You're OK with running that back because you think Biden's too much of a papaw? What are we talking about? This is like if you had a babysitter who tried and failed to abduct your child and then later you rehired that babysitter because her replacement was taking too many naps. It's crazy. The only reason this didn't go that way the first time around is because of Trump's arrogance and incompetence. And yes, those are immutable characteristics of the man. It's true. But I still don't think we should afford him an opportunity to learn from his mistakes. And I know some of y'all are like, Trump can't learn stuff. And I know, I hear you, but he has enough Ivy League fascist in his thrall to make it a serious threat, okay? And yeah, I mean, you know, it, it, would, it would be the dumbest dictatorship of all time. There's no doubt about that. I mean, instead of mein Führer, it's going to be mein Der Her. That's true. Instead of a swastika banner draped over a captured opera house. It's going to be a snake flag flying out the back of a monster truck. Yeah, instead of goose-stepping SS officers in Hugo Boss outfits, it's going to be gravy seals with CPAP machines bitching about black mermaids and pregnant M&Ms and stuff. It's going to be real dumb, but that don't make it any less terrifying, okay? If I'm getting hurled into a gulag, I'm not going to give a shit what my jailer's GPA was. You know, this is not just conjecture. It's not. They have plans. They're public. You can look them up. They know what they're going to do and how they're going to do it. We're not just speculating on this stuff, okay? Why do you think Trump was so obsessed with Vladimir Putin for so long, right? Because he wants to turn America into the type of country where people get thrown out of windows just for disagreeing with him. Well, I don't want to be defenestrated, y'all. This shit is real. Love you. All right, YouTube, more in a second, but I want to let you know that these here musings are once again brought to you by the good folks at Private Internet Access, the world's most trusted VPN provider with over 30 million downloads. Listen, y'all, it's the holiday season, and I'm telling you, nowadays, getting on the internet without a VPN would be like leaving your kids' Christmas shopping list laying out in the middle of the living room. You are going to be compromised. But PIA's VPNs hide your IP address and encrypt your internet connection, thus shielding you and your digital privacy from the prying eyes of all the bad actors out in the online world. That's not all, though. Their VPNs can also make it appear as though you're logging on from any country on Earth. Why? Well, for starters, Netflix is different in different countries. You know that in other countries. I got The Office, or Rick and Morty, plenty of your other favorites. Well, you can use your login and a PIA VPN to try out any type of Netflix they got on this planet. Pretty cool, right? Their VPNs are available across all platforms, and now you can use one PIA subscription to safeguard unlimited devices. Every device in my house is on my PIA account. Works like a charm. So if you like the sound of that, here's what you can do. Click the link in the description below to try our special Christmas deal now, and you can try PIA's VPNs for 83% off with four months free. Signing up always includes 24-7 customer support and a 30-day money-back guarantee. So what more do you need to hear? If you think any of that sounds overly complicated or techy, it's not. Look, here's the app. There's the button. Push the button. And just like that, it's on. That's all you got to do. It couldn't be simpler. So try private internet access today. All right, YouTube, and we're back on some more pleasant news from today. I, I'd be remiss if I didn't have a little congratulations for a uh, fellow Tennessean, Tay Tay Taylor Swift, the time person of the year. How about that? Yeah, suck on that, Marsha Blackburn. I bet she's pissed off, dude. I hope somebody interrupted her feeding session to break that news for her. Marsha's in her office just slowly lowering a muling puppy into her gaping godless maw and then uh, she gets told that taylor taylor swift is the time person of the year and she just flips into a massive rage starts throwing desk around spitting fire and shit ha, ha! that's how i picture uh <laughs> oh yeah have fun with that marcia you dumb bitch anyway 
Uh, and other good news, Kevin McCarthy's leaving. Pretty sweet. Now their majority is even down to what two? Not so bad. Seems more manageable. Yeah. Well, don't let the don't let the door hit you where the good Lord split you. You feckless and incompetent loser. Kiss my ass on the way out too. Yeah. So you know we got some good things going on in this country as well, and that's nice to remember. I hope y'all are uh, getting your Christmas shopping done and whatnot, and appreciate you watching these videos. I'm gonna put up the things here. This is my special. Watch that. Subscribe to the channel. That's important. Most important to me. This button goes to TreyCrowder.com. You can see my tour dates. Come see me perform live. That's what I really do. It's a lot of fun. But the main thing is you keep watching these silly videos, and I'll keep making them. All right. I love you like chicken. Happy holidays. See you. See you. Love you. Bye.